My name is Jim Steffen. I'm the senior ecologist here at the Botanic Garden. This is the Barbara Brown Nature Reserve, and it was uh, developed about two years ago for the purpose of attracting birds to this particular area of the Botanic Garden. Um, it was covered with a lot of invasive woody plants, buckthorns, and honeysuckles, and a lot of garlic mustard and other non-native plant material that didn't support much in the way of bird life. And part of the reserve here is uh, about six acres of water and it's a, a shallow body of water and it's ideal for birds that like to wade in the water like herons and egrets um, and bitterns and things like that. Great blue heron is one of the commonest wading birds that we have at the garden and it's a very large bird probably about the size of a turkey but it has long legs and a long beak and long neck. Uh, walks around in the water up to its belly and will uh, quietly approach fish in the water and then spear them with its beak and throw the fish back up in the air and grab it with its beak and swallow them whole. They, like other birds, they uh, can't tear their food apart, so they have to swallow whatever it is that they catch whole. The other wading birds that we have here are black crowned night herons, which is not very common, uh, a bird that um, was having a hard time in this part of the country because of habitat loss, wetlands, shallow water wetlands with uh, good habitat around for nesting are not very common anymore. Um, we also have green herons, which are the smallest wading bird that we have here, and they oftentimes use the dead logs and limbs that are just uh, either at the surface of the water or sticking out from the shoreline, and they walk out on those, and then they also look for things like pollywogs or fish or uh, frogs sometimes if they can catch them. Yeah, that's those are cormorants. That's an adult, the one that's all black, and the one that's down closer to the water, if it's light on the front, that's a juvenile. It was just born this year. They don't produce any oil for their feathers, so they have to go up on a branch and they hold their wings out to dry off, to dry out their feathers, because their feathers are not water repellent like most ducks are. But it helps them to be better swimmers, you know, because they can get completely wet and they can go through the water faster and it's easier for them to dive. Uh, if you look at the Botanic Gardens website, you will notice that we have a bird list there, and the list is arranged alphabetically, so you can look for birds uh, A through Z in the alphabet. And the uh, herons and egrets are um, in there, and you can find out what time of the year you're likely to see them. Uh, there's a code in there that tells you which seasons they're more abundant, which seasons they're rare or they're not here at all. Like in the wintertime, most of the wading birds are not here, except for the great blue heron. If there's any open water at all, you will occasionally see great blue herons here throughout the, the full year.